So I want to tell you about a couple new behaviors that we have in the game, um, or a couple of areas where we've refined the behaviors that we have in the game. Um, and what they are is in headers and in tackling. Um, we've added a wealth of new animations. We had an abundance of animations already in headers, but we've added some new header types in the game to get a lot more differentiation and better synergy between the animations and the ball trajectories and the ball physics that we get in our game. Um, a problem that we had in FIFA 10 um, was a, maybe a, a cross would come into the box and a player would have a, a delicate header that he needs to play, but he'd play an animation where he leans back and heads right through the ball, and it really didn't fit the context of the scenario. So what we've done this year is we've added a bunch of new animations in different buckets, and we've added glancing headers where he might just touch the ball to the side and redirect it to the corner, cushion headers where he takes some speed off the ball, plus we have the medium and high-powered headers that we had last year, and then one other type, which is downward headers, where he actually tries to get the ball down to the goal line and not put it over the bar. So there's a little bit of a game element to the downward headers as well as, as far as how you position your player. There's a game element to the, the power that you put on the glancing headers to try and get these different header types. And obviously they have their advantages, each of them. So it really opens up the heading game on corners and crosses um, when trying to finish a lot in our game. The other one I wanted to talk about was tackling. Um, by and large, last year we had a standing tackle and a sliding tackle, and this year we've blown out all of our standing tackles into different types. We have something called an intercept tackle, which is somewhere between a tackle and a dribble, where if your opponent kicks the ball maybe a little bit too far, instead of sticking him and getting him to the guy and, and causing him to stumble, you actually sort of run by, tackle the ball away, and run after it without actually touching him. It makes a little bit of a cleaner... Uh, um, dispossession uh, of your opponent as well as gives you a little bit of an advantage for reading the play and getting in, getting in at the right time. Um, conversely we have for our regular standing tackles when you do want to really clatter somebody we have something we're calling a stick em tackle which is basically you getting in, the ball's close to him, you're getting the ball, you're getting the man too and making sure you, you cause him to stumble so that you can go and pick up the loose ball afterwards. Um, we also have a, a tackle type called knock it away and retrieve where uh, it's kind of dicey whether, whether he's going to have possession or not, whether you can stick him and actually get a piece of him. So you just knock the ball away, run around the other side or run that side and then go and retrieve it after. Similar to a, an intercept tackle, but more directly as the players are approaching head on. So a different scenario that uses it. And then we have our clean and tackles, which are somewhat of a hybrid between a slide tackle and a standing tackle. And that's for the scenario where you're just sprinting full bore at somebody, trying to tackle them. And as you approach, because you're going so fast, he's got no other recourse but to go to ground and really try and take the guy out. Um, so they're less effective and it's kind of a deterrent to try and get people away from sprinting directly as a dribble because that's just not a realistic tactic that people use in football unless he's taking a bad touch. So they can be a little bit dicey sometimes. You might get blown for a foul and, and, uh, and maybe a, a, red, a, a yellow or a red card if you, if you get it really in the wrong situation. But uh, it, it forces you to manage your defending a little bit so that you're in control and always trying to position yourself to launch the best tackle you can, makes an art out of defending and I think it brings defending to life rather than mostly just holding the press button.